Hello, good morning. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Uh, just uh, <sighs> enjoying the morning, getting over a pretty uh, wild weekend. Uh, good morning, Brianne. How are you? I'm just going to go over some health tips. Mm. First, drink lots of water. We're 75% water, 80% water. Uh, good morning, Roxy, Maurice, Howard. How you guys doing? Brianne, thanks for joining. Man, I had a crazy weekend starting with last Thursday. I don't know how many of you guys remember me putting up a video walking on the beach. I was walking on the beach barefoot. Um, it was sunrise. It was about 6.30 uh, a.m. when I did the video. And uh, you can see it if you go further down on my time timeline. I was grounding myself in the, in the damp sand, okay? And... As soon as I ended my live video, I kept walking down the beach, and uh, I happened to find a, a gentleman who had drowned. He was dead. Uh, at least he appeared to be dead to me. And um, there were uh, two Santa Monica police officers that were at the nearest um, lifeguard stand, and I just ran up to them and said, excuse me, there's a dead guy in the water. I mean, what else can you say? Excuse me, there's a dead guy in the water. And and he was dead. I mean, his he was dead. But they were first responders, and um, so they pulled him out of the water, and they gave him CPR, and uh, then a, a truck came from the lifeguard station, a lifeguard paramedic. And I think they tried to revive him further. And then an ambulance came and the police blocked off the, uh, the road. And then the ambulance went screaming to the hospital. But I really don't think they got a pulse. I'm not sure. I wasn't, I didn't stay for that. But uh, what a shock, right? You know, what's funny is, um, Yes, it was shocking to find a body floating in the ocean, but uh, my my calm, my peace from being on the beach and from grounding wasn't disturbed. I, it, it wasn't disturbed. I don't know how. It's just funny. Um, I was in a very calm state. I was in a very centered and tranquil and grounded state. I was walking on the damp sand where I always recommend people walk because that's the uh, that's where the magnetic charge and magnetic field of the earth is strongest, right? Because of all of the friction underneath your feet of the water moving back and forth across the sand. And uh, so I was grounded and, um, and that feeling emotionally, cognitively I knew, wow, this is a dead body in the water. This is strange, and, and it has to be reported to the authorities as soon as possible. But, um, but emotionally, I didn't get flustered. You know, I didn't get into the state of, oh, my God, you know, this guy's dead. You know, it is what it is, but uh, it reminds you of your own mortality. It sure did for me. It reminded me that tomorrow is not guaranteed to anyone. And uh, live your life uh, with integrity. Live your life as best you can today and appreciate life and try to live as long a life as you can, as long and as healthy and as prosperous a life as you can. And tell the people you love that you love them. I proceeded to have a very nice weekend with my son, Kai Kai. We went on a five-mile hike. Uh, and uh, and everything was nice. Everything was great. Um, it could be the Moldavite. This is my new piece of Moldavite. I think I've done videos before about Moldavite. And I may actually take this one off and show it to you up close. I'll put it in front of my clothes so that you can see that it's green and translucent. It's like a piece of glass. It's a tektite. 
okay? 15 million years ago, um, a meteor struck into the earth in Germany and uh, it scattered uh, these pieces of glass, molten tectite, all over Europe, but the largest concentrations happen to be uh, in Moldavia, or Moldan River, I believe it is, uh, in Czechoslovakia. And um, this is Moldavite. It is a very high vibration, high intensity tectite. Um, those who collect gems and stones find that it is the most powerful gem that you can own. Uh, it has been given back and forth uh, as gifts to royalty. Uh, 15 million years is a long time that Moldavite has been on the planet. And um, it is a life-changing tectite. I know a lot of people uh, find that to be in contrary to their uh, belief systems, but it, it is definitely a life-changing tectite. Um, its energy does speak to you. Um, it gives you a very high amount of energy. It spins your chakras, especially the top chakras, the crown, the third eye, uh, the heart. And um, it gives you a lot of energy. It creates coincidences in your life. Um, you may find yourself uh, thinking or feeling certain things. Um, maybe anger uh, may come up if you have been treated in an un less than dignified way or an undignified way. Uh, you may find that the, the resentment for that may be coming to the surface. Uh, what you have to do with Moldavite is basically embrace your, um, your evolving higher self because that's what Moldavite does is it pushes you forward in your path in life. It pushes you forward uh, toward being your highest, highest self and uh, a lot of people can't take the energy. A lot of people, you know, there's, they have too many things that they have to change in their life and they're not really that close to knowing their true self. And uh, so Moldavite definitely pushes you closer toward that. Um, while we're on the subject of enlightenment, I wanna mention monoatomic gold, okay? Uh, monoatomic gold is written about uh, in the Bible, and um, it's called the food of the gods, okay? Um, and it's uh, basically uh, Ormus, O-R-M-U-S, you can look it up, Ormus gold, monoatomic gold, single atom gold. It actually is gold. It makes the two halves of the brain work in synchrony with each other, uh, better. And um, this is how it looks. Okay. It's a beige powder. You put it under your tongue. Just like that. That's all you need. And you let it soak in to your bloodstream from under your tongue. Um, monoatomic gold. You can find this um, on eBay. Uh, I would stick with uh, Harmony, Harmonic, actually, Harmonic Essentials, Focus Brain, but there are a number of different companies that produce Ormus or Monoatomic Gold. Um, people who take Ormus find that it raises their intuition. Um, it's really good for meditation. It's really good in combination with Moldavite. Um, these are advanced techniques for what we call peak performance. Now, this morning, I just finished a session with the Mind Alive David, and I have to be, I'm gonna make a video about the Mind Alive David, but uh, I'm gonna show it to you right now. This is an audio visual entrainment device, okay? It trains the brain using sounds and lights, okay? And of different frequencies. 
there are different frequencies hitting the left field of vision from the right field of vision because each one of your eyes speaks to both hemispheres of the brain. Okay. The left field of the right field of vision speaks to the left hemisphere of the brain and the left field of vision speaks to the right hemisphere of the brain for both eyes. And most significant, I find, uh, the most significant aspect of the Mind Alive David is this, CES. Red goes on the right, black goes on the left, okay? And uh, how's it going, David, Tanya, Shanae, how are you? And it delivers a very small pulse of electricity to the earlobes. And what that does is it stimulates the brain stem, stimulates the brain to produce uh, serotonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and all of your endorphins. And that's very, very good. Um, I'm going to be doing about three YouTube videos today about uh, infralow neurofeedback, alpha theta neurofeedback, and synchrony neurofeedback. I'm going to start with infralow. Uh, first, I'm going to start with an explanation about the brain, okay? Um, after doing a, quite a bit of studying, I highly recommend this video, Understanding the Brain, okay? Uh, and, and studying of neuroscience. Uh, you have the cortex or the neocortex. Cortex has the same root word as cork, right? A cork on a tree right? Cork is a bark of a tree, right? And uh, that's the outer part of your brain, the wrinkly part of the brain that you see when you see the per when you see uh, an image of a brain. That's the part that goes outside, okay? Beneath is your subcortical nuclei, which contains uh, your limbic system uh, and your uh, pineal gland and pituitary. Uh, it contains a lot of good stuff inside there. And um, beneath that is your brain stem, and beneath your brain stem is your spinal cord. And different disciplines of neurofeedback uh, affect different areas of the brain. Okay. Infra low, meaning infralow frequency neurofeedback is that uh, that means that the reward frequency the frequency that we're rewarding and not suppressing is of a very very slow frequency very low infralow um we're actually at, uh, working at the level of the slow cortical response okay mm -hmm. infralow neurofeedback is very good for calming the uh, subcortical nuclei for calming the limbic system, um, for calming the uh, upsetness that comes with ADD, ADHD, autism, uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, stress, depression, addiction. Um, a lot of the, uh, the, the, the the issues, neurological issues that plague people, uh, putting an end to bruxism, you know, teeth grinding, um, insomnia. We can we can we can help a number of conditions using infralow neurofeedback. Once that's done, once we've uh, got that initial calming done, then we can move into um, alpha theta where you have two reward frequencies, one in alpha, which is where I am right now, relaxed and awake and alert, and the other, uh, hi Theo, how's it going? And the other in the theta zone, theta meaning around seven hertz, it is just on the other side of sleep. Theta is a light sleep frequency. And uh, when you're training in theta, um, you're training in the area of the subconscious mind. You're training in the area where there are, where there may be repressed memories or repressed emotions um, from past traumatic events. You may have to work those things out. And you can work those things out without remembering specific events, 
uh, with alpha theta neural feedback. So basically you're working it out from an energetic level. You may shed a couple of tears while you're doing alpha theta neural feedback without necessarily remembering the specific memories uh, to which those tears are attached. But it's very good for uh, as an aid if you're doing talk therapy. And it's very good as an alternative to talk therapy, frankly. And um, so alpha theta, right? Alpha theta neural feedback. And then we can get into the more advanced neural feedback, like I'm about to do right now, uh, synchrony, synchrony neural feedback. This is an electroencephalograph amplifier. This is the EEG amplifier that we use. And as you can see, it has two channels. The middle is ground. This is channel one, positive and negative. Channel two, positive and negative, right? I keep the warm channels on the warm colors on channel one, orange and red, and the cool colors on channel two, blue and green. And I'm about to hook myself up actually, so I can do this and show you what we do during synchrony neural feedback. We're actually synchronizing the two hemispheres of the brain, the left and right, right hemispheres to work together. It's very good for balance, very good for focus, concentration, it is very good for training your body to your brain to access that that elusive flow state that we call the zone at will right so this is really good for professional athletes and uh really anyone any professional that wants to have their stuff together so we start off right here in the middle right this is ground and I'm going to train my frontal lobe today. I'm going to train the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe. The frontal lobe is most associated with executive control and inhibitory control. Executive control, meaning like the president is the executive of the United States, meaning control of yourself, your mind, your personality. Uh, thinking and doing things. That takes place right here in the frontal lobe. And the parietal lobe, which is high on the back, beneath the parietal lobe is the occipital lobe, uh, which has to do with seeing. But high in the back is your parietal lobe, which is associated mainly with uh, spatial awareness, your awareness of yourself in the physical environment, also, um, emotional tension and physical tension. So if you have issues with tension, the parietal lobe is where you're going to want to train. And I've already done quite a few infralow neurofeedback sessions, so I don't really have the cortical arousal issues that come with uh, PTSD or that came with PTSD uh, or anything like that in my past. Don't have any addictive behaviors or anything like that. So this is new prep, which is a elect is an electrolyte gel. Uh, electrolyte meaning it conducts electricity. So it has a little bit of abrasion to it. So I do have a little bit of exfoliation going on when you use it. And it's just mainly for getting a good conductive connector, connection to your probes, okay? All right. And then we use the paste, 1020 electro paste. How you doing, Dr. Tony? Thank you very much. If anyone would like to try neural feedback or or audio visual entrainment or um, CES, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, inbox me and come out to the Biomed RX Health Center. Okay. So now put a little bit of paste where you want to train okay 
to the area that you're going to be training. All right. Now, I would like you guys to please join my YouTube channel. While I have you here, I'm going to comment and give you my YouTube channel for BiomedRx TV, okay? Because uh, I need more subscribers and I'm producing all of these videos for the Biometrics TV channel. So please subscribe. I'm pasting it right here. Please subscribe. Okay. That link that I just provided you in the comments is for the YouTube channel, Biomed Rx TV. So this is commonly known as front to back. I am simultaneously training my frontal lobe and my parietal lobe. Okay. Now you don't want to get your channels crisscrossed uh, because you can cause nausea, right? You can cause a person to uh, want to throw up if they uh, if you have it hooked up wrong. Okay. Oh, let me leave this open. Because you also want to put a little bit on your probes, okay? You want to push it until it starts coming out the back, all right? To make sure you have a good connection. And you want to have a little bit on each probe. Forgive me, because this is going to take a minute for me to do this well. Happy Memorial Day to all of my brothers and sisters in arms, um, all of your military veterans. I do appreciate your service, our service, uh, especially those of you who are exposed to combat, and especially those who are actually paying the ultimate price, who have actually paid the ultimate price. God bless you and God bless your families. Okay. So, channel one has blue and green. Channel two has the warm colors, red and yellow. So we'll hook up channel two right here. Red and yellow for the right hemisphere of my brain. And then channel one, green, and blue for the left hemisphere of my brain, okay? And ground goes right in the middle. Okay, and uh, we can check our connection. Hmm, I'll show you how to do that. 
because the amplifier plugs in to your standard USB port. Let me get this gunk off my hands first. How you doing, Douglas? So we'll unplug this USB and plug in the neural amp. 